This is an article from CNN, North Carolina man charged with threatening to kill President Biden. He was making threatening phone calls to the White House, and his defense was that he had free speech and did nothing wrong. Now, why does that sound so familiar? That's because that's the defense the US-backed anti-government mobs here in Thailand make when they're defaming and also threatening the king of Thailand. Back in America, you will face five years in prison and a $250,000 fine for threatening the president of the United States. Let's look at this article. Move Forward Party pushes to amend royal insult law. And down here it says, those who defame or threaten the king would still face imprisonment under the proposal, but for up to one year or a 300,000 baht fine or both. Look here, or threaten the king. Move Forward wants to change the laws of Thailand so that there is almost no penalty at all for attacking the monarchy which has been their plan all along to attack and destroy the monarchy. And they are trying to change the laws to make that possible. At the same time, let's look at this article. Now this is in Thai, but I think people can read this number, 24 million baht. That's how much they're suing their critics for allegedly defaming them. So do you see how this works? They're going to change the laws to make it possible to attack and destroy the monarchy, the head of state of Thailand. And they're still going to use Thailand's defamation laws to silence their critics and to sue them for millions and millions of baht. This is a dictatorship in the making right out in the open, even as they're accusing the current government and the monarchy of being dictatorships in fiction. I just thought I'd point that out. I'd point out how in the US, you would go to jail for at least five years for, for threatening the head of state. Move Forward wants to reduce that down to one year. That's not a deterrence to not do it. That's actually trying to find a way to encourage more attacks on the monarchy, more threats on the monarchy. How is that constructive for society, encouraging defamation and threats? It's very clear Move Forward does not care about Thailand. It's very clear that their goal is to destroy the country. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Please think about subscribing to my channel. Check the video description for the links to these three stories, as well as for ways you can help support my work, like by becoming a Patreon member. And to everyone everywhere helping me in absolutely every way, thank you so much for that support. It's what makes all of this possible. And as always, thank you for watching.